Well, hello everyone. You tuned into a handful of blessings. I'm Kim Eleven Fourteen. Um, I thought I would come with a small haul today. Um, you just have to ignore my hair. I just washed it and flat ironed it. Um, I'm gonna do a hairstyle in a second. Um, I went to the beauty supply house and I guess I'm late <laughs> or slow about it, but. Um, I went to the Reese Play House and I noticed that kids have like a new color line. I don't know how long it's been out of nail art paint. Um, this is like a minty green. I don't know if the name, oh, okay, the name is on the side. It's called Bikini, Bikini Green. And it's really, really light. Like a light green. And I really like the color line. They have, um, a lot of different colors. I think I'm going to go back and just purchase all of them probably. But I got it at TJ's uh, Beauty Supply House. That's the name of the Beauty Supply House that's near me. So it was a dollar. I think I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And also, I showed you a video once before where I, um, I told you I went to a store called Dollar General where I live, and they had nail art paint in there for a dollar. And I purchased every time I go in there. Actually, I go check, and if they have a color that I don't have, I'll get it. Mainly because I'd rather pay a dollar for it than to pay a dollar ninety nine for it. Um, I can get two bottles for the price of one. Um, this is one that I brought. It's called Intense Pink. And it's like, I want to say it's almost like a neon pink. Almost. If you can see, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't even used it. And this is um, another one that I purchased. It's, it's uh, The color is bright green. And this is more, it's not a neon green, but... I'll take some pictures and show you the pictures of it. And I purchased a yellow one. Another yellow one. I noticed when I got home. This goes to show how much nail polish I have. I need to organize it so bad. Because I purchased a yellow one the last time I was in there. And I didn't even know it. And now I have two. Actually I have three. Because I got one down there that's open already. So there you go I'm gonna have to organize my nail polish soon and go through it so I can see what I have and what I don't have um also I went to a store called Fred's I think it's Fred's dollar store or something like that um I don't know why they call it Fred's dollar store because everything in there is not a dollar but that's the name of it um and I did not know that they had nail art paint in there as well um, I actually ran across and I wasn't, wasn't even looking for a uh, nail art paint, but um, it's a, it was a dollar in there too and I bought another pink one. Um, this one is, I don't see a name on this. Oh, it's up on the bottom. It's called Hot Pink. And it's totally different from this one. I know it might look the same on camera. This is more like a, somewhat like a neon pink. This is more like a pearly pink. And I purchased these. Uh, two. I took them out, out, so out of the package, so maybe you can see it better. This is like a uh, blue glitter, uh, more like a turquoise glitter actually. And um, I got this one, and this is this is a black glitter. You can't see the glitter in it on camera. I don't know why. Um, yeah, the name of this one. This is the card that came in. This the name of this black glitter, and the name of the blue one is. Uh, Blue glitter, that's the name of it, and it's by Color Mates. I don't know how good it is. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try it and see if it's a pretty good brand, and I might might purchase more of it. Uh, Cause I know sometimes you buy it and you have to put so many coats on for it to show up. And when I'm doing a nail art design with a fine brush, I don't want to have to constantly go over it to uh, get it to show up. So, oh, and I got uh, this is the type of nail polish. Someone asked me, I can't remember, but someone a while ago asked me what type of nail polish I use on top of my um, rhinestones and my 3D art to hold it on my nails. And this is the type of nail polish that I use. It's by Wet n Wild. It's called, uh, it's Wild Shine. It's just a clear nail protector. And I got this at Fred's as well. I paid a dollar for it. I bought two of them because I go through it really, really fast. Um, matter of fact, I use this just about every week on my nails. So. I have to buy those about two or three um, I'll probably get some more next week um I don't know if you were I don't know a lot of my new subscribers might have not have saw the video that I did it's um I think my nails were green and it had like a blue flower on it 
I'm not sure what the name of the video is. I think it's green nail design with blue 3D flowers, something like that. Um, in that video, the tutorial, I showed you a uh, 3D mold that I used to make the flowers with. Um, I ordered it off eBay. And I stated that I was going to buy, purchase more of them. And I'm still going to purchase more, even after this, because I really like um, using those instead of trying to do the flower myself. Um, it's, it's a little less time consuming than trying to actually make the flower on top of your nails. But anyway, I purchased more of them. I got it in the middle of the day. Um, I don't remember the seller's name, but I'll look it up and I'll put all the information in, in the info box um, at the bottom of the screen of the person that I actually purchased it from. But um, I purchased four more. This is one and probably can't see the picture of it. Well, let me see if I can take it out. This is the card and it came in a little thing like this. All of them came in. I opened some of them up. So. And this one um, is like some little bows, little bow ties. I don't know if you can see it on camera very good. So that's the first one that I purchased. And I'll probably try to, I'll make one and um, so you can see what it look like uh, with some acrylic powder. You can use any color acrylic powder you want to in it. Um, that's the good thing about it. I like having these because I can make it whatever color I want. And the next one, um, this one, is a, it's a rose, but it's not like the other rose that I had in the other video. It's different, as you can see. It's really, really different on there, and it's really cute. And these were like a dollar forty-nine, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll put the price that I paid for them in the information box. But I think I paid a dollar forty-nine for it, and the shipping handling was, was free. Um, if it wasn't free, the shipping handling was like a dollar for each one or something. I can't remember, but I think, I think I paid a dollar for each one though, and the shipping handling was free. And this is one that I thought was really cute and it's actually the alphabet A through Z small case letters and it goes like I said from A through to Z so I can spell my name if I wanted to on my nails I guess so I thought it was really cute and the next one I got this is the last one that I got and it's a five petal flower I don't know if you can see that. Like I said, I'm going to make some so you can see exactly what they look like on there. And also, um, if any of the ones that I have you want to order, um, you want, I'll put the number of them in the information box so you can get the same, the exact same one I got because it's a certain number for each one because they have a ton of them on there. So you're definitely going to need the number of uh, if you want to purchase the same ones that I have. Like I said, it's just a three digit number, so it's not so bad. It's not a long, long number. So yeah, so those are the ones that I purchased. And I really, really like them a lot. Um, and they're really small and compact, really easy to store. So, like I said, I will be purchasing more of them uh, later on when, they, when I... Uh, get a chance. Um, I'll probably go on there today sometime and order some more. So yeah, so if you have any questions or anything like that, um, let me know and I will talk to you later too. Till then, take care.